Suhain ba talaga kami dapat kumagto umaruhin ta mga livelihood para maamo dito? Through the common services and tool provided by this Pamati Kita project uh, really helps a lot in our organization. Uh, the feedback of the community really tells us the, the, the whole picture of our uh, implementation. We were able to communicate more with our communities and learn how they feel about our programs that we, we have given them. Nagkakaroon kami ng exchange learning. Ibig sabihin, natututo ang bawat NGO yung sa ibang NGO. At uh, pwede natin tawagin na continual learning and improvement. So the Pamati Kita project was conceptualized during the first few months of the response because of the various agencies that are working for the high-end response. It has provided NGOs, local and international, a venue for learning from each other. NGOs were able to share their experiences, their tools, and their best practices to one another so that we would be able to improve our services. Another one is that we were able to provide mechanisms for communities to be able to give their feedback and concerns to shape the program and projects being implemented in their communities. So we have the radios, we have comics, we have newsletters, we have TV crawlers, and many types of mechanisms that are able to capture the views of people in the community and also give information to them. Also, the third one is that uh, we were able to have a functional community response map where feedbacks are received and recorded systematically and analyzed by the working group so that we will be able to address it as one humanitarian community. And we were able to help strengthen the capacities of local and international NGOs. The Pamati Kita project came at the right time. It was able to provide the needed support of the working group in terms of strengthening the capacities of aid agencies in enhancing the accountability practices of the humanitarian agencies working within the Typhoon Haiyan response. We learned so much. The special project gives us idea on how to do more in the community, not just about feedback but in communicating to them. So since its implementation in July 2014, uh, we have seen changes in the communities, people being more confident in sharing their concerns, their feedback to the agencies, telling negative and positive feedback, and also LGUs are more engaging to their constituents, asking for their feedback as well. Unta, kada, kada usaha amun, kay may adaman hira karuyag nga padangat, hitira adihitun hira kasing-kasing, para hira malinawan, or ma, matulungan hitira Karuyag, igpadangat, haira. Tungudan ni nga mga balasahon, ning istorya hanay, nang natagan kami sang hibalo, daw knowledge bala, nakungi dya ang bulig, kay natagan niya sang saktong nga informasyon ang mga tao. Kay kung dili patungod nila, nga akong duulan, tapos dali rapon sila magrespondi kung unsay ilang mga tabang, mo ko anda yon munang nalipay gyud ko ugda ko with the gains that it has now in terms of capacitating staff in providing materials and information for the community and each of the member organizations it should be really put forward little by little one day at a time. Working together, even there is no longer a hey and response, would still be relevant for our communities because feedbacks and opinions and concerns of communities are still there. And still, we still have to work together for the development of those who are affected by the typhoon.